How do you upload transparent Utah data to the State Reporting System website? If you haven't created an account with the State Reporting System before, you would select Create a New Account here, select Office of the State Auditor, and proceed, then fill out these fields, including checking the checkbox. Then click Submit. If you already have a State Reporting System account, and didn't receive a launch day email inviting you to Transparent Utah access, you would simply log in here at reporting.auditor.utah.gov. Now you'll be taken to your profile homepage. To request access to Transparent Utah, click the cog menu in the top right corner, then click Request for Access. We'll check Transparent Utah, then select Request for Account Access. We'll check that we're authorized to provide information on behalf of this entity, and then we'll enter our entity. In our example, this will be Test City 2. We'll then select Request for Entity Access. Now, on our profile homepage, we now have Transparent Utah Access on our top menu. Let's select it. Now we'll see a page similar to the old transparency system. You can see that we're associated with Test City 2, and that we can click Next to upload files. If we're, for example, a CPA firm that uploads for multiple entities, and we don't want to upload a file for Test City 2, we can check this box here and enter the entity that we'd like to upload a file for. But for our example today, we'll simply be uploading for Test City 2. So we'll select Next, and now we'll enter the total amount of our text file, which was $358,036.16. Then we'll enter the number of rows in our text file, which was 18. Now we'll upload our file. This is the example text file we'll be uploading. Make sure it's a text file before you upload it. Now we'll click Done. And now, critically, don't forget to click Next once your file is uploaded. So we'll click Next. After clicking Next, we'll see that this file is pending which means the file is being transferred to the database. For larger files, it may take longer to transfer to the database. But for shorter files, like our example file, it should be verified relatively quickly. Now we'll point out some helpful data points in the new Transparent Utah system. If you click into the batch ID of a rejected file, you can view some helpful information. Most importantly, we can view the error that was returned for this rejected file, which says the total amount and record count do not match. If we scroll down, we can see that the amount we entered for this file does not match the amount that the Transparent Utah system automatically calculated based on the file we uploaded. We can also see that the record count was incorrectly inputted as 855, when the Transparent Utah system found that it was actually 420 rows. So this information can help us correct files in the future. Congratulations, you've now uploaded a transparent Utah file via the state reporting system.